Welcome to the deep dive. This is where we take the sources you send us, sometimes really small ones, and, well, we try to unpack the insights hidden inside. Mm -hmm. And today we've got a really interesting challenge you brought us. How much can we actually get from just, what, three words? Yeah. It's amazing what can pop out from something that looks, you know, pretty insignificant at first glance. It really is. And the source material for this one, uh, it's got this very direct, very technical title. Right. We're looking at a little piece from a video called Building a Small Hydropower Plant Equipped with a Powerful Generator. Okay. I mean, that title alone, it suggests something pretty specialized, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like an instructional video, maybe a documentary piece very focused on the engineering side of things. Definitely. And the specific bit, the tiny snippet we're zeroing in on, mm -hmm. it's short, conversational, almost, well, jarring in that context. It's just, I thought you. I thought you, yeah. Just that. So our mission really is to explore what could possibly be packed into that single brief phrase, mm -hmm. especially when you find it sitting inside a video about something as, let's say, precise as building a hydropower plant. It's, uh, it's a great little lesson, I think, in reading between the lines. Information interpretation, the power of context. Okay, so let's unpack this then. You see a phrase like, I thought you, show up inside a video about, you know, turbines and generators. Yeah. What's the immediate reaction? For me, it just makes me wonder, who is even talking and who are they talking to? Well, what's fascinating there is how just having that phrase present it instantly kind of shifts your perception of the video, doesn't it? It does. It stops it being just a simple um, how-to guide. It throws up all these questions about the format, you know. Like what kind of video is it really? Exactly. Is it a super meticulous tutorial where something went wrong in real time? Or maybe it's more like a, a behind-the-scenes look. Right, where things aren't always following the plan. Or even a documentary, just capturing people interacting during this really complex build. It suddenly injects this, well, this human pulse into what could otherwise be quite dry, quite factual. That's a great point. And if we if we sort of drill down into those three words themselves, I thought you what's the I thought part doing there? What's it really conveying? Well, I thought inherently points to some kind of prior state. Right. A belief someone held, an assumption they were working under. Okay. And in the context of a technical project, that almost certainly suggests um, a departure from what was expected. A clash. Yeah, a clash. <laughs> Maybe something was assumed to be done or assumed to be true, and, well, it turns out it wasn't. It's that moment where, you know, perception hits reality. And then you've got the you. Who is the you being spoken to in a video about assembling generators or, or building a dam? Right. Is it, like, a colleague? Another engineer, maybe? Could be. Or a team member who is supposed to handle a specific part. Or maybe someone learning. An apprentice? Possibly. That pronoun you, it directly pulls in this human, this interpersonal thing. Yeah. It points straight to dialogue, maybe collaboration, maybe even um, instruction happening or being corrected right there mm. in that technical space. So it's yeah. not just about the, you know, the nuts and bolts and the blueprints anymore. It's the people actually using them. Exactly. The people involved. And that's where it starts to get really interesting, I think. It immediately paints a picture, doesn't it? It absolutely does. You could almost, like, picture the scene. Maybe the camera's on the, I don't know, the concrete pour for where the turbine sits. Okay. And someone off camera goes, I thought you, what could that be about? Maybe a measurement that's slightly off. Or a step missed. Yeah, or like, I thought you checked the alignment on that valve, something specific. Or maybe about a tool. I thought you brought the torque wrench for this section. Right. Or even a procedure. I thought you calibrated that sensor already. This is where, you know, a simple miscommunication or maybe a human error mm -hmm. suddenly has potentially real tangible effects on the project itself. It's not just a vague assumption anymore. It's tied directly to the structure or how the plant might function. And this raises a really important question, I think. What does this tiny little human detail tell us about these huge, complex technical projects? Mm. It's like a little flag reminding us that even the most, you know, carefully planned things, they're ultimately done by people. Yeah. People aren't machines. Exactly. This phrase, it just highlights the absolutely crucial role of communication, of uh, solving problems as they come up. Right, and learning. And learning, yes. And sometimes making mistakes, it's all part of any complex job. It suggests there's this whole other story happening beyond just the technical steps. A human narrative. A human narrative, yeah. yeah. Teamwork, adjustments, 
those unspoken understandings or maybe misunderstandings that actually you know underpin the whole collaboration. That's such a vital point, and it connects straight back to you, the listener, right? And your own experiences trying to learn things or just process information day to day. Mm-hmm. I mean, think about how often you get just a fragment of information without the full picture. It could be a line in an email, something said in a meeting. Or just overheard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah or just overheard. Right. And how do you automatically start kind of filling in the blanks. It reminds me, okay, maybe not a hydropower plant, but putting together some flat pack furniture. Oh, I know where this is going. Right. And you get to that point where you think, hang on, I thought you included more of these little dowel things. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. It's exactly that feeling, that little jolt when reality doesn't quite match your expectation. Precisely. And it really underlines why we shouldn't just, you know, dismiss these details that seem a bit out of place or maybe a bit too human for the context. Right. Don't just brush them off. Because sometimes the really telling insights or those moments where you go, aha, they come from exactly these unexpected little human bits, even inside really technical stuff. Mm. It should make us more curious, I think. Curious about the why behind even tiny, ambiguous phrases. Because they can often tell you so much more about the, uh, the hidden stuff, the human interactions going on underneath. So quite a journey then. From a very technical video title, all the way down to the single intriguing human phrase, I thought you, and seeing how it really lit up the importance of context and, well, the human side of absolutely everything. We really did. And it shows that knowledge isn't just about gathering facts, is it? It's most valuable when it's actually understood, when it's applied. Yeah. Thinking critically lets us get so much more out of sometimes very little information, especially when we're faced with something incomplete, like this phrase. So here's something to maybe think about. What seemingly tiny detail, maybe something you encounter today, might actually unlock a completely new layer of understanding if you just paused for a second and considered its hidden context. Yeah, and maybe ask yourself, Mm -hmm. what assumptions are you making right now based on just a fragment of the whole picture? 